Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our third session for progression and series. In the previous session, uh, we discussed some basic problems uh, in for arithmetic progression. In this session, we are going to take some more problems based on arithmetic series. Okay, so let's begin this session and you just be ready with your paper and pen. Okay. If P -th term of an AP is A and Q -th term is B, prove that the sum of its P plus Q term is this. Okay. So P -th term, that means T P is A plus P minus 1 D. Where A is the first term, D is the common difference. P -th term is A. So I just cannot take this A over here because A is already P -th term. So it cannot be the first term. So I just take the first term as maybe X. Right? So X plus P minus 1 D is A and Q -th term that is T Q is equal to X plus Q minus 1 D and that is B. Right now we have to find out the sum of p plus q terms. So before we find out the sum of p plus q terms, what we can do? We can deduct this equation from this. So we can get the value of uh, the first term and common difference. So it is p minus q d is equal to a minus b. So d is equal to a minus b upon p minus q. That is the value of d. That is common difference. Okay, now if I put the value of D over here, I'll be able to get the value of X. So, X is equal to A minus P minus 1 into D. Okay, so I just do it. It's AP minus AQ minus AP plus A minus BP that is plus BP and minus P upon P minus Q. Okay. Now this AP and this AP is cancelled. Then we have uh, nothing to be cancelled. So I just write it like as it is. That is A minus B. This is A minus B plus BP minus AQ upon P minus Q. That is the value of X. That is the first term. Okay. Now we have to find out the sum of P plus Q terms. So what will be the sum of P plus Q terms? So S P plus Q is equal to P plus Q by 2. 2x that is 2 times this plus p plus q minus 1 into d d is what a minus b upon p minus q Okay. Now you just have to solve it and after solving you'll be getting this relation. Okay. Just just solve it carefully. I'm not solving it over here because it's unnecessary lengthy. So you get uh, you can solve it on your own. It's not at all going to be difficult. If the sum of m terms of an AP is the same as sum of its n terms, show that sum of its m plus n terms is 0. Okay. Sum of m terms is SM is equal to m by 2, 2A plus m minus 1, D. That is sum of m terms. Sum of n terms will be n by 2, 2A plus n minus 1, D. Right now we have to find out sum of m plus n terms that is m plus n by 2 then 2a plus m plus n minus 1 d right that we have to find out okay now what we do uh, since we have been given that sum of n terms is equal to sum of n terms that means sm minus sn is equal to 0 right so I just use the same 
m by 2 this uh, just multiply it this is inside or just leave it as it is m by 2 into 2a so that is 2a m plus m minus 1 by 2 into m d okay then it is a n Yeah, it 2 will be cancelled. It is just AM. This 2 and this 2 will be cancelled. So AM and this is AN. Then this is minus N minus 1 D into N by 2 and that is, is equal to 0. Okay. So let's simplify this. It is AM minus AN plus this is M square d minus md minus n square d then plus nd upon 2 is equal to 0 okay here i take a as common and then take lcm so 2 a m minus n plus m square d minus n square d so i just take d as common so m square minus n square then minus md plus nd so i take d as common minus d it is m minus 1 and it is 0 okay now i can take m minus n as common so i'll be getting 2a plus m plus n d minus d is equal to 0 m square minus n square can be written as m plus 1 into m minus 1. So if I am taking m minus 1, uh, n as common, I will be left out with m plus n. So this is actually m minus n, 2a plus m plus n minus 1, d is equal to 0. Now either this thing is 0 or this thing is 0. m minus n cannot be 0 because if m minus n is 0, m will be equal to n right so sum of m terms is equal to sum of n terms this statement will be meaningless in that case that means this is 0 so 2a plus m plus n minus 1 d is equal to 0 now what is sum of m plus n terms that is m plus n by 2 2a plus m plus n minus 1 d right now this thing is 0 that we have just proved right that means this thing into 0, the entire thing will be 0. That means sum of m plus n term is 0. That only we have to prove. Show that the sum of m plus n term is 0. Okay. So this is how we can prove. Sum of m plus n terms is equal to m plus n by 2 into 0. So that is 0. Okay. Now, the interior angles of a polygon are in arithmetic progression. The smallest angle is 52 degree and the common difference is 8 degree. Find the number of sides of the polygon. So if we don't know how many sides are there, I assume n sides are there. Right? So the first one is 52, second is 60, then 68 and there are n terms. Right? Now what will be the sum of this n terms that is n by 2 2 into a that is 2 into 52 plus n minus 1 into d that is 8 basically we have other formula also for sum of interior of polygon that is n minus 1 into 180 degree Sorry, it is n minus 2. So this is, uh, if you put n is equal to 3, you will be able to get the sum of the 3 angles of triangle. That is 3 minus 2 into 180. If you put n is equal to 4, you will be able to get the uh, sum of all the 4 angles of a quadrilateral. Right? So this is n minus 2 into 180. So we have been given the information in this form and we already have the information in this form. Right? Sum of all the angles that is 52, 60, 68 is this and actually sum of an n-sided polygon is sum of angles of an n-sided polygon is this. So precisely this is equal to this. 
okay now if we just solve it only n is unknown we can get the value of n right so I just solve it n I just take 2 inside so it is 52 plus n minus 1 into 4 so 4 n minus 4 is equal to 180 n minus 360 okay so it is 52 minus 4 that is 48 n plus 4 n square is equal to 180 n minus 360 so we take all things aside 4 n square minus 180 n plus 48 n minus not plus 360 is equal to 0 so it is 4 n square minus 132 n plus 360 is equal to 0 I can take 4 is common or I divide the entire equation by 4 so n square minus 33 n right now it is n minus 30 n minus 3 is equal to 0 so n is equal to 3 or 30 okay okay so I hope you are clear now we see this again an important one if ratio of sum of m terms and n terms of an AP is this this is this prove that its mth term and nth term is in this ratio okay sum of m terms is m it is m by 2 2a plus m minus 1 d right then sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d ratio of it is given uh, to us as m square by n square okay now this 2 and this 2 is cancelled this m is cancelled with the square this n is cancelled with the square so precisely we are getting 2a plus m minus 1 d upon 2a plus n minus 1 d is equal to m by n that is the relationship that we are getting as of now next is ratio of mth term and nth term mth term and nth term tm by tn mth term is a plus m minus 1d and nth term is a plus n minus 1d okay now since we have to find out this here a and d both of them are unknown and here we have been given a relationship uh, that uh, we have uh, found out from this okay now what I do is 2a plus m minus 1 d upon 2a plus n minus 1 d is equal to m by n right so this is the ratio actually so if I want the individual values I need to take a constant that means 2a plus m minus 1 d is equal to m k and 2 a plus n minus 1 d is equal to n k this is m and this is n right I'm just converting this to m k and n k a common uh, number I'm taking a common multiple I'm taking right so 2 a plus m minus 1 d is equal to m k and 2 a plus n minus 1 d is equal to n k right if I solve this what I'll be getting I deduct this from this so m minus n into d is equal to m minus n into k that means d is equal to k right now if I put the value of d over here in this first equation I can get the value of a so 2a plus m minus 1 into k is equal to mk so 2a is equal to mk I'm sorry plus mk minus k is equal to mk so a is equal to k by 2 so I got the value of d I got the value of a right now I put the value of a and d over here I'm sorry over here 
because we want to find out the ratio of mth term and nth term. Okay, so Tm by Tn is equal to a plus m minus 1d, so a is equal to k by 2 plus m minus 1 into d is actually k upon a is k by 2 plus n minus 1 into k. Okay, now we can take k as common, so we'll be getting 1 upon 2 plus m minus 1 upon 1 upon 2 plus n minus 1. K when we take common from numerator and then denominator they will be cancelled. So finally we are left with this. Now if we take LCM we will be getting 1 plus 2m minus 2 upon 1 plus 2n minus 2. So that is 2m minus 1 upon 2n minus 1. So the ratio of mth term and nth term is 2m minus 1 upon 2n minus 1. Right? So that only we had to prove. 2m minus 1 is to 2n minus 1. Okay, so very important problem friends. Just do revise it, do write it 2 to 3 times. So you'll be able to understand the, this problem in better manner. Okay. So friends, in the next session, we'll be taking more problems, more concepts on arithmetic progression. Do revise this session and the previous ones. Bye-bye.